The Elegoo Neptune 4 printer is an awesome printer for the price, but we were having issues with the PLA adhesion to the stock metal PI textured build plate. Anything larger than the test prints would not adhere and make a mess. I'm going to show you two ways that I solved this problem and now get strong adhesion and flawless prints. Wait. The first test prints that we did with the Elegoo Neptune 4 turned out great and had no problems with bed adhesion. And we were using this Duramic PLA Plus filament, which is a very good quality filament and prints great. But then when we switched to the Sunlu PLA Plus gray filament, these small sample packs of color, we we're having a lot of trouble with the bed adhesion. It was not sticking down to the bed with the default settings from Elegoo Cura. When I looked back at some of the sample parts we had made, I also saw that it seemed to be under extruding on that first layer. This is some scraps from those first layers that wouldn't bond very well. I switched over to the Duramic PLA Plus because it didn't have enough material on the roll left to use that uh, gray PLA Plus. And I did also end up using a little bit of Build Platform glue stick, which is pretty much the same as a regular purple glue stick, except this one's white, and putting the glue stick down in the area that it was gonna print on. It did have some success earlier without the glue stick, but it's still lifted in a few areas over here. So applying the glue stick helped prevent any lifting at all. So I'm not having any adhesion issues printing PLA Plus on the Smooth Creality build plate. It's adhering perfectly. I'm not even using a brim and it's staying on there well, so not using a brim reduces the cleanup. See, here's the little purge line. I'm gonna peel that off, and it's stuck on there like I would expect. And this, pulling up on it, it's stuck everywhere. Um, even the interior hex is stuck pretty well. So to get it to release, I'm actually gonna to have to lift the build plate off, and then it pops off. You do need to make sure to clean this build plate if you touch it, because you can see where I touched it, it left oily marks on there, and I'm sure that's gonna affect adhesion in those areas. That actually printed really well. The bottom surface is super smooth. There's only one place where I can tell that it didn't adhere, and maybe this, this too right, right here. And there's no cleanup needed because there's no brim. In fact, what's interesting is I'm, as I'm cleaning this with alcohol, I could see the location of where the print was, and I could see that this area where it didn't adhere was where I had touched it and left some oily marks on the plate. So this plate needs to be really clean for the prints to adhere properly. There you can see kind of like the ghosting of that print. This is an adhesion test after cleaning it with alcohol. The adhesion seems quite good, especially this like test strip on the side, it's good. So this is not coming off. Again, this is PLA plus. Everything seems good here. It's not coming off, straight off at least. It's stuck on there. Then it pops right off. So the bottom is super nice and smooth. Just that one spot right here, but it doesn't look like it's due to not adhering like it was last time because I had some oily fingerprints on there. So every time, you should clean it off with alcohol, make sure it's perfectly nice and clean. And there you can actually see the ghost of the part that was just printed. Here's another solidly attached build. It's adhered really well to the plate. It's not coming off until I actually lift the plate up and flex it off from the plate.